New year, new debates. Tonight on Master Debaters, we take a look at film school example, Memento. On my left is Michael Mullen, a man who is more than willing to forget about the time he saw Memento. And on my right is Clint Gage, a man who got a tattoo because he decided he wanted to remember a very good sandwich he ate. Gentlemen, welcome to the gridiron. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. But only one of you leaves tonight. <clears throat> Naturally. Great. Mr. Michael Mullen, give us 10 seconds to tell us who you are and why your opinion matters. Well, I got excellent grades in school, mostly A's. Uh, I have written about pop culture and such things for Los Angeles Magazine, Maxim Online, uh, EW.com uh, over the years. And generally, I'm just a likable... Oh, way uh, over time. I'm sorry. Guy. <laughs> just drawn into his eyes. Don't worry, I won't need all of mine. <laughs> My name is Clint Gage. I work here. And while it seems like I'm underdressed, I feel like that makes me more trustworthy. So, Mike, Michael, Mr. Michael Mullen, I don't need to say your full name. You have 30 seconds to state your opinion and why you feel that way about it. Go. This is a movie that is all, it's like a pie where it's all whipped cream and no pie. It all relies on a central gimmick that you wait to get to the end to find out what it is and then it's, it's a huge disappointment by the time you get there. Mm -hmm. So it's all gimmick, no heart. All hat, no cattle? All hat. No cattle. Time. <laughs> Clint, you have 30 seconds to state your opinion and why you feel that way about it. My opinion is 100% opposite yours. And that I think it's a great movie and that it's not just a gimmick. Mm -hmm. It became a gimmick when other movies started imitating Memento. But uh, when Memento was made, it wasn't just a gimmick. It worked to serve the purposes of the story. Like it, it, was, it was an incredibly immersive effect because you're living the movie as Leonard is living his life. You know what he's about to do, but you don't know where he just was, just like his affliction with the memory. So Mike, you have 60 seconds to support your opinion with cold, hard scientific fact. The colder and harder, the better. Go. Well, I think that you know Clint's uh, defense of the movie was actually better than the movie. I, I think even the reason people went crazy for it, yes, Christopher Nolan's a genius, and yes, it was an interesting uh, gimmick, but it was like looking at a, at, a, at a beautifully built Swiss watch. It doesn't have any heart. You can admire the way it looks and the mechanism, but that you don't really care about these characters. It's just too mechanical. It made me angry. Clint, 60 seconds to support your opinion with, uh, with facts and junk. I half disagree with you about your heart argument. I do agree that there's not much to hang on to with most of the characters in the movie, but that's because Leonard is the only character that matters. It's such an exercise in point of view and perspective, and because we're in Leonard's head and experiencing the story as Leonard because of the, the way that the film is structured, it doesn't, he's the only one that you have to attach to. And I think you really do. Him talking about all the, the stuff about you know, waking up and realizing that your wife has gone every day for so long and he's training himself and he's, he's so lonely in the apartment with all the tattoos and he's doing, like, I think it does an excellent job of, of establishing a connection with Leonard. And that's why, it, again, it's not just a gimmick. It's a really brilliant device to- Time. I'll tell you the rest later. You even used the word exercise. I do think it was an exercise. And I think that it was, basically you can always see that the puppet master is controlling the, the strings. That even when he's talking about his wife and these things, it still feels like the filmmaker is putting words into this character's mouth. I don't really ever get lost in that character and believe that it's real. I don't want to confuse him, him being, it being an exercise in point of view as, as in like he was just kind of playing and it's whatever and he doesn't care. Like it was, it, it was establishing a new way to tell a story that that was, was genuinely unique at the time. Like there were reports that people would like run up to the projectionist and tell him, "He's like, hey, dude, you threaded the movie wrong. It's playing backwards." Like people didn't know what the hell was going on. It was a it was a specific story about a guy with a specific brain injury, and this was the best, most efficient way to tell the story. Michael, uh, you have 15 seconds to tell us how you would improve the movie. <laughs> Go. <laughs> No way to, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, there's no way There's to, no way to make this movie better? Did I just it, win? It is, no, it's what it is, it doesn't mean it's great. I would make it a musical. Uh, and then it could go to Broadway and you could make love. Yeah, that I honestly, I would be a fan of that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember anything. Clint, you have 15 seconds to tell us how you would improve the movie, not by making it a musical. More Joe Pantoliano. Pantoliano. That guy has made, he's done more with less than any actor ever. <clears throat> 
All of his roles are like just like little dudes, but he's so good. More Joe Pantoliano. It's the only way it gets better. It's the only way anything gets better. Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah. It all comes down to this final bit. Uh, if you could both put your elbows right here. Oh no. We're not gonna, no, I'm not yeah, gonna arm wrestle gonna this arm guy. No, no! I've taken my shirt off for your food show. I'm not, uh, uh, I'm way weaker than you think. I guarantee you. If it's a whining contest, he's gonna win. <laughs> Uh, that's all for us here tonight on Master Debaters. Uh, let us know what you think of Memento in the comments below. Let us know what you think of Christopher Nolan in the comments below. Obviously, uh, his work has, has grown exponentially since that point. Uh, and come back next week when we will take a look at Avatar. That's right, it's the throat thing before. Avatar. 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 Have some.